Hi folks, today we are talking about six types of learning chopsticks that you can either buy on the market or you can print out yourself on your 3D printers. From left to right, we have first tweezer chopsticks. As you can see from the figure, you use these two sticks as if you are using a pair of tweezers. Next, we have the finger placement chopsticks. These are chopsticks with carved grooves that allow you to place fingers at the right chopsticks locations or locate the chopsticks at the right finger placements. On the upper right, we have the ergonomic chopsticks. As you folks know, we made them. We call them ergonomic Marco sticks. Low profile ergonomic nuggets on these sticks guide your fingers and help you learn the standard grip without interfering with skin contact between your fingers and Marco sticks. On the lower left, we have the exoskeleton chopsticks. These are chopsticks that you wield as if you were wearing an armor. You think of the chopsticks as an extension of your fingers. Next up, we have the exo placement chopsticks. These combine the finger placements from above and the exoskeleton idea from the left, and you get something like pictured. The upper chopstick is an exoskeleton style chopstick. You turn that into an extension of two fingers, the index finger and the middle finger. The bottom chopstick is a finger placement style chopstick. Last but not the least is our flagship product, the Model T training Marco sticks. There's a separate video about these Marco sticks that you would find in the video description below. Now let's dive into each of these six types of chopsticks. Let's start with the tweezer quote chopsticks, end quote. These are special chopsticks you can buy online. They go by the name quick sticks. It's quite clever. You can use the pair of sticks as regular chopsticks. Uh, you can use the standard grip. The planetary gear train principles work quite well. If that term planetary gear train sound unfamiliar to you, we have a separate episode on the standard grip and finger motions involved in it. You can find a link to it from the video description below. Now, the clever design here in quick sticks is that you can couple the two sticks together to form a pair of tweezers. Now we have a pair of tweezers that presumably help beginner users of chopsticks. The thing is, you can't really use them as chopsticks in this mode. There are many, many reasons why that is the case. Well, I'll just mention one. If you have seen our standard grips episode, you would know that standard grip only works when the rear ends of the two chopsticks are separated far enough. Every user we have had try this pair of quick sticks naturally switch back to the regular mode of operating a pair of tweezers as shown here. To summarize, you'll notice that one type of learning chopsticks is unlike everything else in this diagram. The finger grip and finger motion taught by these tweezer style learning chopsticks is no chopsticks grip at all. Nothing you learn from these tweezers is transferable to actual use on plain regular chopsticks. Now let's look at a pair of typical exoskeleton chopsticks. These go by the brand name Edison Chopsticks. You can find them everywhere online, including on Amazon. We call this the exoskeleton chopsticks for a reason. That's because your fingers hook into the two hoops on the top chopstick. And on the bottom chopstick, your fingers grab onto the tabs protruding from the bottom chopstick to wedge themselves into the chopsticks, forming one body. A funny thing happens here. Keep your eye on the thumb. 
the thumb tip in particular. See how the thumb tip is moving away from the correct position for the standard grip onto that tab protruding from the bottom chopstick. All seasoned standard grip users that tried this pair of chopsticks ended up doing the same. Here we're doing the compression test. Look at the index finger and the middle finger and how they artificially drag on the hoops. The same thing happens with the extension test. The fingers are using the hoops as an indirect way of manipulating chopsticks. These affect the appearance of the right finger placement according to the standard grip. But it teaches away from the right finger dynamics and finger motions used in closing and opening chopsticks. Contrast this to the standard grip shown in the inset. The top stick is not held and manipulated firmly by the tripod hold, comprising the thumb tip, the index finger, and the middle finger. The bottom stick is not held down by the th base of the thumb against the knuckle of the ring finger. Instead, it's caged in by the thumb and the ring finger using tabs on the stick. When a learner tries to apply finger dynamics learned on Edison chopsticks onto plain chopsticks, they'll be helpless without the crutches that are the hoops and the tabs. Now, I want you to take a moment to let what I just said sink in by watching these two video clips in slow motion. The standard grip finger motion on the left and the Edison learning chopsticks on the right. You see how the wooden chopstick on the left is rolled by the tripod hold. At no point in the standard grip motion does any finger experience any friction rubbing against any chopstick surface. That is not true of the Edison chopsticks on the right. The thumb tip cannot be touching the top stick, which is constantly moving. The culprit is the hinge that you see here. It locks down the top chopstick, preventing it from rolling. To summarize, the exoskeleton chopsticks come with a bridge that connect the two sticks together. Until training marker sticks came along, everybody thought that chopsticks worked by third-class Archimedean lever principles. As a result, exoskeleton chopsticks are designed such that the top stick tilts by rotating around its lateral axis. This style of learning chopsticks does not allow the top stick to roll as required by the standard grip. Now let's look at the finger placement chopsticks. Three finger placement groups are carved into the top chopstick. They indicate the initial placement of the three finger tripod hold on the stick. It is popularized by Ishida in Japan as the three point support chopsticks. I'm trying to twirl or roll the top chopstick using my three fingers here. It doesn't work very well. Those initial placement grooves want my fingers to be in that exact position and pose. They don't really want my fingers to move out of that initial position. This particular pair came with circumferential grooves for the bottom stick. There's still three of them, and the idea is the same. They're there for finger placement. Circumferential grooves are a bad idea. They're well-intentioned, but they don't take into account insights that we have discovered, which is that edges of square chopsticks are in fact essential to the operation of chopsticks in your hand. Without them, finger skin cannot mesh with chopstick surfaces because gripping power is a result of skin meshing with uneven chopstick surfaces. Compare this to the standard grip motion in the inset. Notice how the knuckle of the ring finger meshes with the edge of the bottom chopstick. 
it can manipulate and move that chopstick because it has gripping power and can keep the bottom chopstick in place. Now we try to operate both finger placement chopsticks at the same time. It is possible to roll the top chopstick. It's just not very natural and it's not quite comfortable. Here we perform our usual tension and compression tests. Despite a few issues we have mentioned earlier, these are almost comparable to regular plain chopsticks. Now we come to the EXO placement chopsticks. As mentioned earlier, they combined both finger placement for the bottom chopstick and exoskeleton for the top chopstick. As in all learning chopsticks, they help in the initial finger placement. Like I said before, the circumferential finger placement grooves are a disaster. But I quite like the exoskeleton mechanism that Ishida has apparently stolen or lifted or licensed from this guy called Okubo, who patented this bowling pin mechanism in 2007. This is a much better way of getting the index finger and the middle finger to latch onto the exoskeleton. Again, focus your attention on the tip of the thumb. As in Edison chopsticks, the thumb rubs against the side of the rubber piece all the time. Again, this is because the top chopstick is unable to roll. Its rotational plane is locked down by that bridge. Just like before, all users who tried this pair of Ishida proper chopsticks or ended up moving their thumb down to the bottom stick. Okay, it's time for that compression test again. This one does much better compared to the Edison chopsticks, both in terms of compression tests and extension tests as you see here. All previous learning chopsticks were concerned only with the initial placement of fingers at the closed posture. The figure of ergonomic chopsticks on the upper right illustrates what we call the open posture. Except for finger placement chopsticks, most learning chopsticks are unable to allow fingers to extend chopsticks this wide open. As for finger placement chopsticks, because of the way the groups are designed, the top chopstick is only comfortable for the fingers to hold in the initial closed posture. Having examined what's in the market that you can purchase, I now want to show you better marker sticks that you can print yourself for free. Look, we recognize that most beginners find it difficult to both hold the bottom stick and manipulate the top stick at the same time. Thus, a bridge connecting both chopsticks is an essential tool to help a beginner. Our innovation here is to recognize that the top chopstick must be able to roll. Therefore, as you can see, we mounted the hinge in an unexpected, unintuitive orientation. I think the result speaks for itself. In this slow motion clip, you can see the top Marco stick rotate around its longitudinal axis. The air quote gesture made by the index finger and the middle finger will tilt the top Marco stick even as they rotate it. Let's take a look at this twirling of the top Marco stick by the air quote gesture again. This time we compare it to the same motion made by the same hand with a pair of plain chopsticks. Training Marco sticks are unique. 
there was nothing on the market that taught the standard grip. No learning chopsticks ever allowed fingers to twirl the top chopstick using planetary gear principles. We've got one more for you. Ergonomic marker sticks. These are designed for intermediate users. Low profile protrusions on both sticks help with the initial placement of fingers. Known as ergonomic nuggets, these low profile protrusions guide fingers throughout the twirling motion of both sticks. Parts of the top nugget serve as limit signals on the rotation of the top marker stick at both ends of its 90 degree rotation. For gripping sticks, as far as finger skins are concerned, ergonomic marker sticks feel exactly the same as plain chopsticks. As a result, ergonomic marker sticks offer the same dexterity, finesse, reach, speed, and power as plain chopsticks. Don't forget, you can print out these training Marco sticks on your own 3D printer. Head over to marcosticks.org to find 3D model files. You'll find additional information in the video description below.